these days anybody will try anything to improve their golf game. But in my opinion, the place to improve is not on the golf course. It's on the driving range. Okay, let's go to some balls. You can get a large bucket of range balls that holds about 50 balls. Range balls come in different size buckets. These buckets are filled either by employees of the golf course or you can get them from a machine. I wonder what the expected value of the golf balls and the actual number you get is. In a recent statistical study, we took 15 trips to five different golf courses at three different times of the day, morning, afternoon, and in the evening. Going at different times would allow us to get different numbers to be observed. Because only employees will have filled these buckets and not machines, we should be able to depict a difference in these numbers. Our population will be defined as golf courses in the greater Omaha area. This would include Elkhorn, Papillion, La Vista, Ralston, and Bellevue, but we will define our sample as West Omaha. We are not looking at a census because this would be timely and unrealistic to visit all golf courses in the greater Omaha area. Our parameters run from 72nd Street to 204th Street and Highway 370 to State Street. In this shot you can see the 13 golf courses located inside a parameter. These courses listed in random order are Oak Hills, Indian Creek, Shadow Ridge, Pacific Springs, Champions Club, Players Club, Happy Hollow, Tiburon, Ironwood, Stone Creek, Johnny Goodman, The Knolls, and Miracle Hills. To eliminate some of these courses, we decided on visiting only five. These five would be picked from a random number generator on a TI-83 Plus calculator. The final five courses to collect data from were Johnny Goodman, Miracle Hills, Stone Creek, Tiburon, and Indian Creek. We traveled around to all the golf courses at three different times of the day in order to get a different sample and eliminate any possible bias that may occur based on the time of day. The data was collected in this method to gain a widespread of values. Any type of survey method would have given inaccurate results and possibly some type of bias based on the golf course. We took each ball out of each basket and recorded the number of balls onto a data sheet, which is shown here. We're using the chi-squared goodness of fit test because our data comes from a family that takes only positive values. It is also specified by one parameter. This test would give us the most accurate results in determining the spread of golf balls in a basket at any given course in the greater Omaha area. The null hypothesis states that the number of golf balls in a basket equals the number of stated golf balls in a basket. H O P observed equals expected. Alternative hypothesis states that the number of golf balls in a basket does not equal the number of stated golf balls in a basket. H A P observed does not equal expected. When looking at the courses individually, we can see what courses have the greatest outlier by looking at how far positive or negative the average is from the expected count. For example, Johnny Goodman was plus one ball for their three counts, while Miracle Hill was plus 11.66 balls. When looking at the data as a whole, we can find a common denominator. Because not all the expected values are the same, this shows the data of all 15 counts with the common denominator of 300. A box and whisper plot shows all 15 counts as a whole, which will allow us to eliminate any outliers. This five number summary shows that the minimum was 282, with a Q1 of 300, a medium of 320, Q3 equals 354, and a max of 396. According to the calculations from the IQR, our data shows no outliers. We do in fact have some high numbers, but when analyzed with the rest of our data, no outliers are present. This stem and leaf plot shows us the spread of the data. A bar graph displays the actual counts of the morning, afternoon, and evening, as well as all of the expected counts. Just looking from this graph, you can see that both Tebron and Johnny Goodman have counts that were relatively steady, while the other three courses deviate drastically. The data is from an SRS. The population size is greater than or equal to 10, and they are all greater than 0, and no more than 20% are less than 5. Here you can see our calculations. Our tie squared came out to be 15.667 with the degrees of freedom 14. Table E in the back of the practice statistics book shows that the p-value lies greater than 0.25. The p-value 
is actually 0 0.33413. In conclusion, the p-value we have obtained of 0 0.334 shows little or no evidence against HO to suggest that the number of balls received when buying range golf balls from a golf course is significantly different from the advertised amount of range golf balls. In only one of our counts, we encounter a value lower than the advertised value. In the other 14 counts, all were above the expected value. Throughout the data collection, we had no influence in any forms of bias. To get a more accurate p-value for the West Omaha area, more data could have been collected to show a greater spread of the overall population. So why do all this data collection? So you don't make shots like this. And calorie shells crush beneath his feet as he comes towards you. He's waving at you. Lift him up to see what you can see as he begins his focusing here.